wonder what they're going to do with her dead body. I don't know. Oh, that's why we're covering her funeral. Yeah. It's still fine. Oh, there, Bryce Ferris. Oh, here's your freezer. Oh, let's turn around now. Look at the little paper. You're so tall. What? Usually people are freaking out. Yeah. What you do? Oh, the fire truck usually caught me. I'm like, it's so tall. It's like, yeah, it's so tall. Yeah, excuse me. I don't know where I'm going. Were you asked for the French fries? Put it in the stocking? Okay. Okay. This is what happens if you, if you get you drink and drive. You see it. Okay. Look. Okay. He looks like he's a zombie. Oh no! He's sort of a zombie apocalypse. Oh. You're texting. You're texting. Help. <laughs> See, he was the one driving, but he was no, not the best way to get out of like one of those things. I'm, I can't see. I'm legally blind. <laughs> yeah. What freaking hair keeps getting in my? I know. Or do what Gabriel does? Who who smiles when somebody's dying and like take pictures of it? <laughs> <laughs> Or do like Gabriel Andrews? Like, I'm so sorry, you too. Oh, yeah, I know it's true. The camera's right here. Okay. People are going down this too, so I thought I would. Thanks, I will. Thank you. I was chanting, you know. But. <coughs> yeah, it's true. Of course he is. Yeah. Is that all? It's like minor charge manslaughter. I can't think of a better name for this. I don't know what to do. I'm going to go for a frozen. I'm going to go for a
Well, they gotta make sure. You hear the girl? That was just Tom Day. Okay. I told you not to let me drive. Well, you know what I would do? I would blame. I wouldn't know. I would have hit Buddy in the face, knocked him out, thrown him in the back seat, and go home. Yeah, really? That's what happened. You're not driving me home. See? I'll walk home. <laughs> Which is why you have a cell phone. Call your parents up. I got it on camera, so you can watch it later. <laughs> yeah, really? Or is it just leaving the surface? It's put him in the face. The world in the back of the face. She's an idiot to get in the car with him. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget, it a call if somebody needs truck. If you have a cell phone, call me and your mom. My parents won't let me get in this near me by the truck. Yeah, so, I don't drink. I'm a little bit. I'm going to walk with this out. The teacher said no, like, no phones, I don't want to get caught. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Steve. Oh, yeah, Steve. Oh, yeah, Steve. <laughs> I wonder if in middle school no one told me. I probably think school too. Yeah, really. I told my sisters like, girls are going to be a. <laughs> they don't make this anymore. Do the cruise. Okay, I think it's over. I'm more mature. The families yeah, of the deceased will soon prepare for a funeral for their loved ones. Later, they'll have to sit through the drunk driver's trial. They will hear his side of the story. The victims, however, will be forever silent. The families will see pictures and videos of the crash. They will be forced to relive the last few precious seconds of their loved ones' lives. Their pain is never ending. If the drunk driver is convicted and sent to prison, will it be long enough? Mm -hmm. A prison sentence, no matter how long, will never remove the guilt. It will never bring back his classmates, nor will it bring the victims back to their families. The drunk driver will get visits and phone calls from his family. He will receive cards and presents on his birthday and at Christmas. The victims' families will only get to visit the gravesite, and each time they will remember their loved one that they lost in a crash involving a drunk driver. It all happened in the span of a second, the span of one heartbeat. Thank you for your attention. Please do your family, your friends, and yourself a big favor. Always wear your seatbelt.